through already attacking. Kelly Merton on her wheel, number 146. Fresh off performances in the Sydney World Cup a month, two months ago, and the Beijing World Cup last month. Kelly winning the elimination last night. Jenny True in second in the B elimination, showing their heels to the men. And now, step forward, the national points race champion drops the hammer. She says, Enough is enough. And we've got riders down. Riders down. One rider on the Julia Herkova and Catherine Short down in the corner. Riders, heads up, please. Make sure these riders are off the track. And racing is continuing. We've got first aid on the site. Catherine is up and okay. We have two paramedics on site over there, so everything will be fine. And now, step forward at the race. Now, Kelly Merton taking it over. Jenny True, Jen Lee, Janelle Cassidy, Rachel Canning, and Sarah Liberté, about 10 bike lengths off the back. Let's push the pace. Catherine Short has now sat out two laps. She will have four more laps to get in without penalty in this race. And it looks like she will get into the back into this race without any problem at all. This is a game young lady. So, that is three laps. She has three laps remaining to get back in without penalty. So there's no hurry here. She's got lots of time. The neutral support is well aware. That's four laps. Cassidy is attacking. Catherine has two more laps. So I would advise she takes those two laps. Catherine has one more lap, and she will get thrown back in with the group. Janelle Cassidy has attacked off the front. Janelle Cassidy has a full lap. So Catherine will stay in the apron, and get going hard, Catherine, get going hard. She's going hard now. And Catherine Short will get back up onto the track. Push down, push, 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 push. And Captain is back up on the track. If we get the C riders to stay shortly, 31 laps to go, and Captain Short is safely back in the group without any penalty whatsoever. Janelle Cassie now a full straightaway head, but Kelly Merton is pushing the pace to try and bring this giant Canada team rider back. And she's got two giant Canada team riders latched on her wheel, and the rest of the group is chasing. And now the rest of the group, it is slow. Janelle Cassidy has pulled up, and now we need to see some aggression out there. We need to see some attacking, ladies. And no sooner than I said, do we have Jenny True from the giant team attacking. Jenny True is away. Sarah Liberté chasing. Now Kelly Merton. Kelly Merton goes, is there any response from the team? Kelly Merton is halfway across. No chase from the rest of the group. And Merton is closing slowly on True, and she will make the junction shortly with True. And now, two riders off the front with a full straightaway. Two riders off the front. True and Merton, and these riders rode together, they trained together. So we'll see if they're teammates for a while out here with 27 laps to go. And will they try and take the lap, which will certainly assure them a first and second place, and they will have to sprint it out in the final. And leading the way is Catherine Short on the front. Top of his nails is Catherine Short. That was a pretty good tumble. And she's back on her bike and up and racing. Rachel Canning now leading through. Julia Rakova on the front now with Jen Lee, Steph Rurda, Leslie and Dr. Weiss. And they're under half a lap from catching the group. Under half a lap from catching the group. And now the group is being led by Rurda. And Merton is putting an attack on True. And she's pulling away from True. And Merton is going for the lap, but True is back on it. And now the gap is about the same. She's pushing hard, and Merton will take the lap. It looks like it's close. True is driving hard, pushing the pace, but Merton is pulling away from her. And now we've got an attack off the front from Steph Rorda. Steph Rorda is off the front. 
And now Murden has taken the lap. Murden has taken the lap. No points are gained or anything like this. This is a scratch race. So, Ruerda is off the front. She's going to try and take the lap. Uh, Jenny True is the next person off the road to try and take the lap. Right now, all Kelly Murden has to do is stay in this group. And if no one else takes the lap, no matter where she finishes in the group, she will win the race. But she's not had enough of that. She is pushing through the group. And now Jenny True is driving it hard. Kelly Murden slicing through all the group. She's at the front of the group. She's going to push the pace really hard here. And True is agonizingly close for getting through. Rachel Cannon latching on to Kelly Murden. And now Murden has separated herself. She's got Canning and Catherine Sharp sitting on wheel. Sarah Liberty. But now True has made it across to the group. Now we have the two riders, Murden and True, all in the same group. It is strung up. But Ruard is at half a lap. 18 laps to go, 18 laps to go. So, if this group stays away, although True has come unglued of it, she needs to get in connection with Merton. Merton continuing to push the base, trying to do damage to True. But True has regained some composure, and she now is pushing the base. She's got back markers in front of her. This will not help her. Rachel Canning just sitting on Kelly Merton, being very strong. A nice ride, and now Catherine Short is able to pull by some back markers. It's going to be close here, but there's lots of time left in this race. It's 16 kilometers, and now True will push the pace to try and get through. Jenny True, rider number 158 in a giant uniform. She has one teammate, Catherine Short, the young lady that went down, sitting in the number three slot. Steph Rorda still hanging tight at about half a lap from the back of the group. And now it's the three riders, Cannon. Short, who will pull up, not doing any work, and she has a teammate that's a lap up trying to get Murden goes again. Can Canning hang on? Because Murden is pulling away. And now True needs to push the pace as she's being clogged up by these riders. Rachel Canning will pull up track. Catherine Short now can get on the pace. And she can help her teammate here. She's pushing it hard. And now Julia Herkova is in there. Sarah Liberty, but Murden is having a way out there, pushing the pace. She's got three quarters of a straightaway on the full field. Rorda is pushing the pace still. Rorda is a full straightaway ahead of her, and Rorda is closing in on the group. She's got a brand new set of wheels tonight. She's just trying out, but Murd is pulling away a true bolts from the group. She's halfway across now to Murden with 12 laps to go. Maybe the little rest in the group is what True needed because she's flying. Murden is taking away though quite nicely and Murden's going to come up on some back markers that she's going to have to go around. Murden drives hard. She's around one rider. Leslie Ann Rice pulls up track allowing Murden to get through. Now True will be up with the back markers. And True will push through but True is still almost a full straightaway behind. Murden will see 10 laps to go this time around. Correction, 10 laps to go for Murden and the rest of the group. So Murden is the head of the group. Murden will see that True will be for second place. Third place will be from the group with Catherine, or correction, the group uh, with Ruerda. So, pushing the pace. Can Ruerda catch the group? If Ruerda can catch the group, she will be the lap up, but Murden is well off. True appears to be tiring. Murden does not. Murden will see eight laps to go this time around. Eight laps to go. And Murden is closing in on Rorda, and Murden is closing in on taking a second lap on the group. In only 40 laps, this is quite a performance. Quite a performance by Kelly Murden. Jenny True pushing the pace. Kelly Murden, can she catch the group a second time? Rorda has caught the group. So Rorda has put everyone a lap down. Now three riders on the same lap, but Kelly Murden is well ahead. As is Jenny True. So one, two, three, one, two, and three are settled. Pretty much here. And Merton is closing. Let's get some lap times on this young lady. She is driving hard. And is she going to be content to stay in the group? Or will she go over? And now Jenny True is going to try and push the base. She needs to try and get on even terms. But she's only got six laps left. Ruerda going up and over the top. Ruerda going up and over the top. And she drops down hard. The new wheels are flying, courtesy of wheelbuilder.com. And look at the speed she's showing here. This is quite impressive as well. She's 
by the police are and murdered the first murder. She's in the group where she has effectively won this race and they will not take the field. With four laps to go, but Bert decides she's going to go. Rurdick is flying. She's caught true. This means Rurdick can effectively be in second place now. And Rurdick has passed her teammate true. So Rurdick is flying up there now. Must be the new wheel. Rurdick riding at 15.8 second laps. To give you an idea, 15 second laps is 48 an hour. She is riding at about 46 and a half, close to 47 kilometers an hour on her own. And the lead group is now murdered, but Rurda is flying. She is continuing to push the pace. Murder's group gets the bell. This sprint here will be for first and fourth. The group sprint being led by Cannon will be for fourth place. So, at the line, it's going to be Rachel Candy and Green finishing fourth. That means Kelly Merton in first. Steph Rorda will round the corner. And Steph Rorda will take second place. And Jenny True will cross the line in third place. Kelly Merton, please wave to the crowd. Your winner of the women's 40 lap scratch race. Kelly Merton, running for Pro Man out of Kenmore, Washington.